hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. Mark G with a C back with another video. It's another CD update video. Um, I've been smashing these out recently, haven't I? I think I've done about, this is about the fifth one, I think. Um, separated by um, the marvellous VCLT that um, Scott, uh, the Rock Scout, sent me. Um, I have got nine, have I got nine? Nine CDs to show you. Uh, these are purchases from um, Hell's Headbangers Records over in America. Um, I know Cloudy um, did a video not long ago because he had a, a similar haul, but Hell's Headbangers were doing um, 10 CDs for $50. It kind of worked out that way. It was kind of a It worked a funny way. Anyway, I got nine CDs. Um, for the $50 it, it wasn't it wasn't 10 CDs for $50 it was kind of a discount to, to make it $50 um, and with the postage uh, it was a real bargain I know um, Cloudy got hammered for the customs I did as well uh, I think a lot of parcels that are coming from America at the moment the customs uh, they're all over them um, and the customs charge I can deal with because that was a couple of quid but then the post office put on a, some kind of holding fee or I forget what the the term they use now, but it's like a an office, an ad, admin fee, something like that. And it's, it was about 12 quid or something stupid. Anyway, these nine CDs, with all that said and done, um, every one of these worked out a, a really good price, at least sort of five or six pounds cheaper. Um, then I could pick them up uh, on Amazon or eBay and a few of these um, I've been struggling to find full stop to be honest in the UK so I'm really made up to, to get them so we've got a bit of all sorts in here a um, bit of traditional heavy metal bit of thrash metal bit of death metal um, black metal doom metal all sorts of metal um, let's start off from the USA we have got Savage Master and um, Myth, Magic and Steel. If you can see from the uh, the hype sticker there, it says um, dark female fronted heavy metal for fans of Sirith Ungol, Doro, Acid, Bitch and Witch Finder General. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure where the Doro comparison comes in. They are um, traditional heavy metal, really good, really sort of raw, um, I kind of call it DIY um, traditional heavy metal, but it's 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 got that. It's not polished, you know. It's got the dual the dual sort of guitars, um, some great riffs in there, um, but it it's kind of not got that polished sort of production sound that some of the top sort of traditional bands have. Um, like I say, female fronted. Um, she has got an interesting voice. Um, I say like the, about the Doro comparison because her voice is nothing like Doro's at all. Um, she's very, um, without upsetting anyone who's a big fan, but I suppose like flat in some in some respects, but not bad. It, it fits the music. It, it, it's. You know, if she was going on a talent show um, for strong vocals, um, you know, I don't know how far she would get. Um, but I don't want to do her a disservice because, you know, a voice fits the, the music perfectly. She looks great. Um, I've got to show you this picture inside because it made me laugh. I'd be well pissed off if I was the band. I know it's kind of about her and... Um, you know, you can see her there on the inside, but this picture just... Can you see that? She's got the um, the rest of the band wearing bright red gimp masks. Um, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I suppose it's cause, uh, causing like a... Not causing, it's creating an atmosphere, it's creating an image. You know, there she is with a sword and all that, but... You know, musically, these guys are great. They shouldn't be hiding the faces. They should be telling her. You know, it's not all about her. Um, what is her name? It's Savage. She's named herself 
something savage, sandy savage, um, I can't, I'll have to find it now and have a look, let's get this out. Stacy, Stacy Savage, she names herself. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's really good. I, I really enjoy it. Um, if you like your traditional heavy metal um, with a sort of occult um, lyrical content, this is be right up your street. Um, I love the artwork as well. But yeah, really interesting, Savage Master. So next up um, from the USA, this is a band that I've I've heard of, talked of a lot in the in the VC, uh, a few people on different social media platforms have sort of mentioned them and I thought I'll have to get this and this is Acid Witch and their Evil Sound Screamers album, it's, uh, it's brilliant, it's, if you look at the artwork and the names of the songs, it, it, it just depicts what the album is all about, it's progressive, <clears throat> it's stoner, it's doomy, it's evil, it's horror themed, it's got loads of sort of little leads into the songs, excerpts from horror movies and, and their own sort of um, little narrations that they do. Um, that's the guys in the band there. And talking about like Stacey Savage and the names, We've got Slasher Dave, which is a great, a great name, and Shag Rat. <laughs> but um, again, masks on, but it's, you know, it's very Halloween um, based, isn't it? But yeah, brilliant, brilliant album. Um, really interesting. Um, like I say, stonery, some great riffs in there, some great um, ideas. They don't take themselves too seriously. And I quite like that sometimes uh, in a band. That is Acid Witch. <coughs> Excuse me. I should point out. <clears throat> 2017 release on um, Hell, Hell's Headbangers. <coughs> Excuse me. All of these that I'm going to show you um, are either released on Hell's Headbangers Records or Shadow Kingdom. That was kind of the, the sale that was going on, this deal that was going on. Um, Shadow Kingdom, which is the Savage Master, is released on a great, great little independent label. You know, there's tons and tons of brilliant um, independent labels up at the moment. Um, I'm kind of spoiled for choice. There's some great albums coming out as well on them. Um, just wish I had a bit more money to buy them all, really. Um, okay, next up, this is a band, again, um, from the USA. Um, if I didn't tell you already, those first two bands were from the USA. Now this is a band that I've seen shown a lot again in the VC. Um, I'd had a little listen to them and thought, yeah, I like them. The, the, the playing traditional heavy metal really, really, really nicely. Um, and these guys are prolific with the releases. And I've been kind of struggling to get their stuff over here. So as soon as I saw these, um, I was all over them. And that is Haunt, <clears throat> um, excellent, excellent. Um, and, and I talked about like um, the traditional heavy metal bands with that DIY sort of sound. These are, these are really polished, real, real nice um, guitar melodies. The vocals aren't the strongest I've ever heard for a traditional heavy metal band, um, but his, his melodies, his, his the way he, he's phrasing uh, and placing his lyrics over the songs are, are brilliant. Um, I really like him. Really like him. The kind of that band that you can you can listen to the music and just instantly like it. Uh, really good. Um, so I picked up three. Yeah, Horn and Burst into Flame. Their uh, their first release. I'm not quite sure why it doesn't have the. Um, the lyrics, are, uh, the, not the lyrics, the track listing on the back of that, a bit weird. Um, their second release, If Icarus Could Fly, is that right? Yeah. And I gathered the sort of artists they use, um, it, well, they're using the same artists for all the albums, I think. There is a couple of uh, EPs they've released as well. I mean, that what was that first al album? 
2018, so in the last two years, they've put out three albums and two EPs. That's what I call prolific. That's like a band from the 70s, isn't it? Two albums a year. And yeah, their third release, Mind Freeze. You can read the hype sticker there. Um, Haunt is a rock and roll heavy metal band from California that just uh, that has exploded into the scene, um, onto the scene in just two years. The band is back with their third full length album. It says for fans of Ozzy, Thin Lizzy, Def Leppard, Iron Maiden, Metallica. Um, I, su I suppose. Um, I don't know, but give them a listen, see what you think. Really, really good. And. Um, I'm not sure who or which member of the band, but I saw a post only the other day, um, and it was the Montrose um, debut album was, I think, something like 34, 35 years old. Um, and one of the guys at Haunt was talking about it, and it kind of sounded to me like he was talking about his dad, saying that his dad was in Montrose. So. Um, I didn't know that was the connection. If that is, I'm sure if I'm wrong, someone will tell me. But um, I'm sure that's what I read, which interested me. Um, right. Put this order. I've got that in the wrong order. There we go. This is a French band. Um, superb. Uh, if you know me, you watch my channel, you know I love old school Swedish death metal that HM2 buzzsaw guitar love it I found another band doing it Skeletal and their debut album Of The Depths they have got a new album out at the moment which I uh, I need to get my hands on well I think it's out for pre-order um, a two piece like I say from France um, on the Hell's Headbangers label 2017 release and um, as with Voivod and their drummer away does all the artwork for the album, the drummer from Skeletal did the artwork to this album. And it's Ace, it's kind of got that Dan Seagrave look. That's the, uh, the CD in there. Yeah, just perfect. Entomb, Dismember, Grave, um, Worship, just brilliant, I mean, I've said it before, look at the logo. You've only got to look at some of the band's logos and you know exactly what you're going to get. <coughs> Excuse me. Absolutely superb. Skeletal and of the depths. So next up we have got, and um, I've always been a fan of, of Razorback Records. Um, Billy and Vanessa. Um used to put out some great 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 doomy death metal that sort of you know um, American B movie horror sort of film um, feel to, to the whole thing that was going on there um, and I believe Billy and, and Vanessa are, are no longer um, a couple so they've kind of what raised about records is doing I, I don't know but I came across this uh, band and this features Vanessa um, she's in all sorts of bands that I'm a big fan of. Um, Skeletal Spectre, uh, Scare Maker, oh, all sorts of, of Razorback Records bands. And I came across, um, what's the other one I was thinking of? Wooden Stake, I think she's got something to do with that. Yeah, that's right, she has. Um, anyway, Vault Wraith. I think that's how you pronounce it, and light the candle in honour of devils. Look at that artwork. The reason I was thinking about wooden stake is, um, I'm sure I've shown you it before, but the artwork, you know me guys, I'm a proper sucker for a brilliant album cover. And it was, uh, as soon as I saw this, I thought I've got to check these out. Now these are, um, it's Hellhead Bangers release. Um, these are like um, like a blackened, thrashy death band, but there's some real, real excellent sort of little elements of traditional heavy metal in there. Um, 
Yeah, a bit of all sorts. Um, I mean, the song titles, you know, um, Reborn in Charnel Infamy, Four Beasts Before the Throne, The Divine Butcheress, All the Black Arts at Her Command. They kind of lean towards black metal, but it's it's not. It's um, it's doomy death, traditional heavy metal with the sort of blackened elements. And Vanessa, who uh, does the vocals on it, she's great. She's got a, a real nice screaming voice. <clears throat> Excuse me, screaming voice, but she can get a proper good guttural, uh, sort of low end, um, almost sort of <clears throat> male sound. I say male sounding, when you listen to the vocals on this, you can't tell it's a, a woman singing, there's no doubt about it. Uh, when she does those sort of screams up there, you, you maybe get an inkling of it, but um, it's not very obvious anyway. But yeah, Volt Wraith, um, brilliant stuff. That's off to you, Vanessa. Love most of, uh, well, pretty much everything you've ever put out, to be honest, if you are watching this. And last, but certainly not least, um, two albums by the same band. I was turned on to this band by um, Paul, the singer from Enchantment, and also Liam um, from Consecration, the Death Doom Metalhead, as we know him in the VC. Um, and I've been kind of looking out for these, never seen them for the right price. The minute I saw them in this Hell's Head Bangers sale, I was like, they were the first ones in the basket. From America, Temple of Void, and their uh, debut album, Lords of Death. That's a 2017 release on Shadow Kingdom Records. Um, that isn't their debut, I'm lying. That's their second album. I've actually got their debut album on um, vinyl on its way to me. Um, and this is their, their third release and their latest release. Uh, the world that was again look at that artwork just suckers me right in but I knew this band uh, was going to be good because I'd been um, I'd been told they were brilliant and they are <coughs> excuse me sorry about that um, do me death metal um, really raw and like earthy but they incorporate a, a sort of little bit of keyboards in there um, I think it's this album there's an acoustic song in it which one is it a, sing, a single obelus yeah it's only two minutes long it's just beautiful it's just I've always been a fan of you know, thrash metal bands and death metal bands putting acoustic interludes in it. I, I, I love that. I kind of, I love that sort of way that it works. You know, the, the raw aggression of the metal and then these little acoustic passages, just fantastic. Um, these are ace. This is just the kind of music that I love. Doomy, deathy, heavy, growly, gritty. Um... All the G's I was going for there, wasn't I? But no, it's um, it, it, and it, it's the sort. Of, I'm not a massive fan of keyboards in death doom metal, if you will. But when they're used quite subtly, and they are on this, they're kind of not used like like a piano playing like a keyboard. It's it's there to sort of create an atmosphere in the background, you know. And they do it so well. Um, oh, like I say, if you like your death doom metal. There's nothing more, just show the insides of those. Um, there's, there's no, you don't need to go any further um, than check these guys out. Really good. Um, so thank you to Paul and Liam for uh, pointing these boys out to me. Um, it's weird how some bands just slip by and you don't know about them. Um, Temple of Void, absolutely superb. That's it. That's the nine, is that right? Yes, not missing anything out. We have been listening to Void Moon from Sweden in the background, a bit of doom metal uh, with the clean vocals, which is um, 
I know I do like bands with clean vocals. It's not all about the growls. I do love the growls. Don't get me wrong. But um, yeah, you can't beat a bit of doom metal, can you guys? You really can't. Um, Sun and Moon Records from 2016. Check them out if you like your doom metal. Bit of Void Moon. That's what's been playing. Thank you, as always, um, to each and every one of you for subscribing, for watching, for taking the time to uh, to watch my videos. You know, leave comments. Um, I know, you know, time constraints sometimes of work and all that. I'm not always available to get back to you straight away, but I will always reply to every single message that is ever left, every single comment is ever left. But so uh, yeah. That's it guys, thanks very much. Take care and uh, I will speak to you again soon. Bye for now.